A new pen pal program aims to provide some socialization for residents at state hospitals and state supported living centers who've been isolated during the pandemic. KXAN's Maggie Glenn explains how you can get involved. Initially, my letters were very general, but I just tried to make them really cheerful and and also relatable. Melissa Quackenbush has volunteered for two rounds of letters going to a Texas state hospital now. I tried to tell people like this is hard for everyone. I imagine it's difficult for you as well, but don't feel alone. There's still a lot of people out there that are thinking about you and caring about you. Therapists say socialization is a key part to any type of healing, especially those with mental health issues. If you don't feel safe and secure and loved, you can't work on anything else. You can't go any deeper into those things. Um, so doing everything we can to help them feel safe and secure and supported so that they can keep working on all the things that they need to work on to find full healing. Everything stays anonymous and the hospital takes care of sending patient letters back out. The immediate feeling that they had that they weren't forgotten about, um, that the world still existed outside of our small um, World. Quackenbush says she feels like she gets more out of the program than she puts in, especially when she got her first letter back from a patient. When I got the letter, I, it was so great because I don't know about you, but it's not very often that I get a personal letter in the post mail. Maggie Glenn, KXAN News. And we included details about how to apply to be a volunteer and get involved with the Pen Pal program on our website, KXAN.com.